Ernest, Reverend Johnny L. Barber, and I was asked the question of um, how I remember Reverend Jackson. There are so many stories uh, that we could share. Uh, it was the homegoing services for uh, DJ Uncle Al, and most people know that Uncle Al was, um, he was in the hood, in the street, and a lot of people from the city knew him. A gentleman came up to do a tribute, and he said he was going to sing a solo, and so I was presiding. And so I was sitting next to Reverend Jackson, and the guy, he put his tape player in, and he started singing this Al Green song, um, I'm So In Love With You. And so some of y'all saints, y'all know y'all know that song. And so Pastor Jackson leaned over to me, and he says, uh, is, that a, is, that, is that a gospel selection? I say, well, Rev, it's uh, by the Reverend Al Green. He says, son, you better get up there and stop them from doing all this stuff in the church. As I remember Reverend Jackson, uh, Reverend Jackson has always been uh, a person that's been close and dear to my heart uh, because he was the, what I call the epitome uh, uh, of a pastor. Uh, he was one that he was never, never, never uh, the type of person that, that would shun away from uh, one of his preachers, all members whenever they would go through the difficult times in life, uh, even uh, when it came to those that he knew that were uh, against him, that said things about him that, that no doubt really hurt him. Uh, but yet, uh, Reverend Jackson, he just continued to love everyone. I remember Pastor Jackson as being a pastor who was always on the move. When I first joined this church in 1973, he organized Usher Ministry Number 4 and New Members Orientation, both of them which I am still a part of. He handpicked me and several other current members. He would always seem to be everywhere at the same time. His sermons was always uplifting. And I can remember one of them particularly that he preached on August the 18, 1996, from pain to peace with Jesus. such wonderful fond memories of Arthur Jackson Jr. Uh, what a great man he was. Uh, I remember when I think of him, uh, the way he conducted services, uh, he would yell out, God is good, God is good. Uh, and he was so entertaining and he, the spirit in that uh, Shiloh was so strong that uh, I remember bringing my five-year-old and he got up on the chair and started clapping and bouncing his toe and singing along and enjoying. Uh, but aside from all of that, uh, he did such good things in the community. I, he and I worked together on a, a gun buyback to get guns uh, out of the street and, and to do everything he could to reduce the level of violence. Of course, one of my, my greatest memories and um, uh, possessions is that one year the, the uh, Congress Christian Christian Education for the State was being held in Palm Beach. It was quite natural. We were the lead association. There were t-shirts, and uh, there was only one medium. And he had a medium. He said, get a medium to Brian. He probably only could fit it. But I want you to know I still got the t-shirt. Of course, I can't fit it now, but I still got it. It's the only one left around with his name on it as president. I mean, you know, we miss him, uh, we love him, we cherish him for, for everything that he has uh, poured out into us. And so, you know, may God forever bless his soul and his spirit. I know he's sitting somewhere in heaven, smiling down at New Shiloh as we go forth in ministry. Thank God for his life and thank God for the peace that he played in my life. His legacy and the lessons um, that he has given us um, continue to live on. And 
And thank you, Sister Jackson, uh, for sharing him with us. He's a great man, and I, I feel blessed that I had an opportunity to, to spend time with him and to call him a friend.